Doctor Who, the Chronotons. Episode one, learning hall. A man in high-tech clothing removes a tablet from a hole in the wall and makes an announcement. Cerealis. Class three, one, nine, six, in the first grade. Names of first selected candidates are male. Alagood. The second name is female. Vanagood. Farah. A young man. No. Serious. Alagood and Vanagood. Alone of your generation. You've been chosen to receive the highest honor that can fall a good. You're now the companionship. You're now the companions of the Crototons. A woman is our most sincere congratulations to you both. You will now step forward for your vesture of your robes of honour. Eric places a silver cape on Adru's shoulder. Vienna, please, Vienna, Vienna, you can't go. I won't let you go. Vienna, I must, Vera. Look, Vienna, we can run away. There's still time, Vera, Vienna. You know that's not possible. We must always obey. Farah, why? Serious. Because my son is a lord of Quotons. A second door in the wall opens, and a door walks through proudly. Plant service, the TARDIS materializes. At the base of cliff, the Doctor, Zoe, and Jamie look around the bleak landscape. Doctor, lovely, lovely, lovely. Jamie, pure, bad eggs. Let's try somewhere else. Zoe, wait, no, wait a minute. Where are we? Jimmy, you don't expect me to know, do you? Doctor, well, let's explore, shall we? The doctor puts up an umbrella. Do you mean umbrella? Doctor, oh, yes, ten sons. Boundary hot. Jimmy, oh, sorry, you didn't think I, I like it. Sorry, don't think I like it here. It looks dead, Jamie. Oh, it smells dead. Sorry, sulfur, isn't it? It can be poisonous. Doctor, no, no. No, the instruments of TARDIS could, would have told us. No, it's a mix of ozone and sulphur. Very bracing. Cliff top path. They clamber up the side of the cliff. A doctor picks up a flat rock. Jamie, what's that? Doctor, I'm fascinating structures. I'm using sulphurate. Jamie, huh? Sorry, he means Mika. Jamie, oh, what? They reach the top. Doctor, dead, isn't it? They look down in the Indian town of large buildings. Red triangles. Zoe, it is a city. Doctor, yes, fascinating architecture. It's more typical of a low gravity planet. Yet I think this is quite normal yet. Zoe, Incas, perhaps, Doctor. Yes, probably. Jamie, Doctor? Doctor, come on. Let's see what he's up to. Be careful. Jamie's making his way down a sleepy slope. Doctor, Doctor, down here. Jamie, Doctor, down here. Outside the Darethrope. Pope. Jamie's lean, 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 led them to a large metal structure in another cliff face with a hydrogen door and ramp leading up to it. Zoe, what is it? Jamie, I don't know. There's a ramp here. Zoe, yes, there's a door. Oh, well, well, is it, is it a wall? Don't I think, hardly to think so, Zoe. Jamie, poor, that smells a bit lot stronger around here, Doctor. Ah, oh, this is interesting, Zoe. What's interesting, Jamie? Oh, the metal, isn't it? Zoe, what's, what's coming in mass? Oh, no, it's again. Uh, lights in. Jamie, ah, uh, well, Dr. Metal. Why would, would you say so? I think we'd better get away from here. Jamie, what? Doctor, come along. Zoe, but why? Dr. Well, this isn't a building. This is a machine. Come along. Do, Jamie, machine. Doctor, it's opening. Doctor, come on quickly. Behind the rocks, the doctor, Jamie, and Zoe hide behind a convenient boulder and watch Abby, Abu trotter out. Somewhat dazed, but still wearing his cape, two nozzles emerge from either side of the door. Jamie, what, what's the matter with him? Doctor, shh. Abu is out of earth and paint gas. He claps his groaning. Red clears. All that's left is metal best paint and a curled wire necklaces. necklace. Zoe, oh, that poor man, Jamie. What happened to him? I don't know, Jamie. Come on, let's get away from here. Learning Hall, Farah. 
Can't you give the orders? She doesn't have to go. You're our leader, Celeris. But the Croatons have chosen Vena. It's a great honor, Ferrer. Honor? Why would you take their orders? Er, 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 clear. Vena, Ferrera. We don't even know that they exist, Fenena. Vena, Ferrera. You can't say things like that. Erelic. Get out of the way, Ferrara. She's not going to have to go to that machine. Erika Atlek. She is, has to go in. No one defies the Crotons. Crotons. Ferra, all right. As Ferra draws a small plate, metal hand weapon, a metal rock, rock wax, Erelic. Now don't be so stupid, Celeris. Ferra, Erelic. Face arm him. She then pulls Vera back towards him. Vera, cut it back. Email the doctor to me, Zoe, coming down a stone staircase. Okay, Zoe. Oh, I hope they're friendly, doctor. Uh, now just leave this to me, Zoe. Doctor sits down into the hall. Doctor, we are friends. Wicked looking spears are pointed at his throat. Don't it? It's all right. Now, don't be afraid, Jamie. We all have a problem. Anaris? Agnes, who are you? Doctor, but, but one of our people, but one of your people has been Agnes, your strangers. Where are you from? Sorry. Well, if, you, if I told you, we would mean anything. Agnes, it answers me. Where are you from? Doctor, there's no time for explanations. I just say, one of the, your people has been Agnes. They're not goods, they did clothes, they way they dress. Doctor, look at me. Look, we're friendly, Jamie. Look, we What well, look, are you going to let us pass or not? Do- Zoe, doctor, look. Eric, do you something about him? He's your son. Farah, I'm warning you, I won't step nearer, Cyrus. There will be you'll be trust reasonable. A quite record ones have sent have sent for Raina. Farah. She's not going. Nobody comes back. Comes back from there, Vera. Let's let's go there, Vera. Please, I don't want to, them to hurt you. The spear point at his throat. Vera throws down his his weapon. Vera steps back forward to Eric, but puts a curly necklace and put and puts the curly necklace, the breastplate attached around Ravina's neck. Eric, a bit of sense, just in time. Zoe, that doorway. It's only the only other one, Jamie I. She's wearing a cloak, just like the chap we just we saw killed, Zoe. She's she's being is she being sacrificed? That uh, I don't think so, Zoe. But they they're too sort of eyes for that, Jamie. Can we not stop them? Does it? Well, we can try. Just a minute, wait. Acarus, they're interrupting ceremony. Take them. Jamie, no, just guards grab them. I you wouldn't be so tough without you know, those guards were around you, would you? Acris, get back. I accept your challenge. Jimmy, oh, you do, do you? Oh, well, that's just fine with me then. Doctor, now, Jimmy, don't be rash. Jimmy, oh, don't worry, Doctor. I'll see this laddie. And I, I got off as Jamie acts. Doctor, Jamie, no, I'm not needing that, thank you. Jimmy, oh, Jamie, watch out. Aris swims his axe. And Jamie dodges easily. Doctor, Jamie, Aris grabs Jamie's arm and he comes into close patrol of strength. Zummy? Oh, Doctor, oh, oh, can't you stop them? Oh, Jamie. Now, X moves closer up to Jamie's head. Zoe, oh, Jamie, come out. Come on. Jamie throws his arrow's back, arm back over his shoulder, and he drops the axe before falling to the ground, clutching his wrist. Jamie rejoins the Doctor and Zoe. Zoe, Doctor, look, the girl. Vera looks back at Farah. It walks through the doorway. Sorry, what is happening? Who are you with these people? Doctor, what was that? Was the very question I was going to ask you? What happened here? Well, where, where is that girl gone? Acris, Elka, Eric, you forced a way through. Sorry, who are you, Doctor? There's no time to explain, Jamie. Look, you don't believe us, even if we told you. Say, we're from another planet, another world, Zoe. To the next girl, that's that's now where now where has she gone, Sorry, how can I? How can they? Be from another planet, Dr. Jamie. Oh, look, we're just wasting time, not where she's gone, Doctor. 
was behind that wall, Farah, the Cryotons. They, they, they sent her to the Cryotons. Cryotons. Jimmy, well, they, what are the Cryotons? Farah and the Cryotons live in the machines, so they're told, so we're told. So it's very in, it's joining the Cryotons. It's a great honour. Farah, honour? She didn't want to go, really. Nobody really wants to disappear into that thing. The doctor makes a closer, take a look at the door. Doctor, how do you open this door? Erica, why would you ask me some questions, Doctor? Because for a moment ago, oh, we saw a young man dressed in a silver robe, just like the girl. We saw that him killed. So it's Admiral Good. Erica, that's ridiculous. How can these people have seen Admiral Good? So it's, he was, he's with the Corytons. They, I, well, he saw something killed anyway. He came out of the machine and was very vaporized. J.I. right around the other side. Sir Acris. Go over world. Over world. Other side. Sir. Sir. Sir Acris. You've been, you've been in the wasteland. So Eric. You're not, you're, they're not contaminated. Contaminated by, contaminated. No one goes into the wasteland. So why not? Right, because it's poisoned, and if you will, and you will die. Doctor, well, it may have been, been poisoned once, but I can show you, you're quite safe now. Hey, Jerry, Doctor, the, the girl, he, she goes that way, Doctor. Oh, Jamie, you're right. You must save her. Doctor, I know, Doctor. Doctor, Jamie, I know, Doctor. Well, come on, Jamie. What's, that's what I'm saying, Sarah's. Where are you going, Dory, to the wasteland? A doctor, Jamie Zoe, run out. Terrace, but you can't. It's against the law of the Quintons. Cont- Fora, it's going, I'm going with them. Saris, Fora, come back, come back, Fora. If you can go, if they can go, go to the wasteland, I can. Saris, there, Fora, you're dead. You'll die. That's how this day of trope. Jamie, this is it. Doctor, I wonder how long I imagine we wouldn't, we have, Doctor, I wonder how much, I wonder how long I imagine we don't have much time. So what are you going to do, Doctor, picks up a piece of maker? Doctor, you keep ways, I mean, keep right away, Farah. Can I help? Doctor, well, Mr. Farah, Farah? Doctor, yes, well, you can find some more stones like this, Farah. What, however, why? Doctor, well, you want to help now then. A doctor uses his umbrella to force a metal stone the right hand nozzle. Doctor, yes, that one. A doctor takes a stone from the pharaoh and forces it into the other nozzle. Doctor, right, come down here. A doctor, hi- the group hides, the door opens. Zoe, doctor, I think I can hear something. Doctor, yes, Zoe, so can I. Pharaoh f- stumbles out of the doorway. Pharaoh, very, very no. Doctor, came out. The doctor turns forward to catch Vina. He's open and brother shielding them from the door n- nozzles. Does A on the doctor, quick. Jerry, doctor, come look out, Jamie. Say, oh doctor, hurry. Jerry, quickly. The doctor carries Vina to the hiding place. The stones are finally pushed from the nozzles and the deadly gas expels into empty air. Vina, what happened? What about, what, what have they, have they done to her? Some of the guests has caught in the umbrella and ruined it. Doctor, the vein in Randall's. Look at that. Zoe, that could have happened to you, Doctor. My favourite in Toronto. Tora, she doesn't know me. She can't, doesn't, can't speak or anything. Jerry, I, it's something that those Crichtons have done to her. Doctor, let me see. Oh dear. It's not catastrophic. Zoe, isn't there anything we can do? Doctor, I'm not a doctor of medicine. You know, Zoe. However, if there's no damage to tissue, is there anything we can take? Uh, we can, can take a uh, fair. My father's house is quite rare. He has a community. Doctor, well, let's take her to in uh, there. Her in. Uh, let's take her in in there. Come on, give me a hand. Come on, Jamie. Sirius's house, a simple wattle and damp place of a curtain of a wall door. Sirius gives Zoe a clay baker. She takes a slow slip. Sirius, Sirius, I was impossible to believe the Crichtons. 
have always been our good friends. I've not benefited, Zoe. Well, they're not got you to see what they've done. Well, you've only got to see what they've got done to Vega. Vader. So, yes, yes, poor child, Jamie. How is she? Vena, just the same. Farewell. Lives. The doctor's swooping. Green pocket watch in front of Vena's eyes. Don't you resting? You're calmly rest, calmly resting. Your eyes getting empty. You're resting. You're now going to sleep. Very sleep. Sleepy, sleepy. Very, very, very sleepy sleep. Vera, close her eyes. Ceres, you see? Every so often the two best of our students have entered the machine. Join the Cortona. You couldn't, they aren't all. They don't have, they don't, they can't have all. They, they can't all you can't all have been murdered. Zoe, what what So why well, is possible if you hadn't if you had you wouldn't know because that's pretty stuff just so yes. But why should they do it? Why should they kill the rest of our students? Zoe, they're not Zoe, what are they like these crotons? So it's no living person ever told, seen them. They never come to help the machine. So they never. So it's not since the beginning of, nor for a thousand years. So how is she? Doctor, she's far asleep at the moment. Jamie, is she going to be all right? No. Doctor, well, I hope so, Jamie. Difficult to tell. Service hands, the doctor, Vika. Doctor, thank you. Service, she was one of the five students we ever produced. Doctor, oh, really? Competition for you, Zoe. Zoe, service, you just think, try, try to say that no one has ever, se- ever seen these crotons. Do I? They've never leave the machine, doctor. How did how did this begin, Cyrus? Cyrus, according to our legends, several men came out of the sky and built this house among us. The ghouls attacked them. But several men caused a perilous rain and fall, killing hundreds of our people, turning the earth black. Jamie, the water's wasteland. Cyrus, yes, because it was said ever, that ever afterwards, anyone who set foot there would die in terrible pain. Learning hall. A body man with a torch comes down to check the learning machines. He's grabbed by four young men. Custodian, who are you? What do you want? Leave me alone, Farrah, the Custodians. You must know a lot about them, Custodian. What do you mean, student? They are their servant, aren't you? You do work for them, Custodian. I only custodian for this, of the learning hall. Farrah, of course. So you can tell us. What we, we want to know, Custodian, I am forbidden to discuss their secrets. Student, we only want to know how to get at them. Farah, we want to see the Crotons for ourselves. Chris, Custodian, only, nobody's seen the Crotons for thousands of years, Farah. You sure they don't come out for machine in the darkness where there's no one here? Custodian, no, not come out, never. Farah, then how... Do they give their orders? Answer me, custodian. They are, they, they are messages. You must know that. Farah, what else? Custodian. Sometimes there is a voice. Farah, but you've never seen them. And that way you can get inside there. Custodian, only companions. Crotons, croton, crotons may enter. Farah, and now we know what happens to them. But you can summon the, the Cretans, can't you? Gastonian, it's not for me to summon them. I obey the great commands. Fera, you can't get in here, there. You must re, you must fetch them out. They're, they're precious teaching machines. Smash them. Gastonian, smash the machines. Guards, a boys put their, boys put their hands over his mouth. And a student threatens with his axe. Fera, do not hurt him. Does tie his hands and gag him. Student, well, keep, keep still then. We no call you. Sorry, this house, Jamie. 
What's happened after this after the war with the Quaintons? So it's ever since we had lived we have lived in peace with them. The Quaintons was so never showed themselves to us. We learn that even though even for the teaching machines. So we teaching machines? So it's yes, the great the whole learning where you were today in the machines to fill the mind with knowledge, doctor. And everybody uses the machines, so it's where you what you when they you they are young, yes. And the law, doctor. Whose law? Saris. Saris, our law, the goods. Doctor, by the thought you just said all your laws are given to you by Quaintons. Saris, yes, but our science, uh, and all our, our science, all our culture, everything we have has come from the machine. Doctor, I see a sort of self perjuring receivery. Preparation savory in the Quaintons. Always choose, you two must. Promise the student Cyrus to be their companions, yes. Do you think, do you think they will all killed, they've been killed? Jamie, I, well, we saw one of them killed anyway, anyway. Jamie, well, why, what are you doing? Why, why are you doing it, doctor? What's the point, doctor? Mm. Well, it's time has stopped anyway. It's high time it stopped. Jarvis, what shall I tell my people? What, how can I explain? Jamie, explain what? Tell us, just tell the truth. Sirius, what? Have they been tricked? That tens of years, thousands of years, best of ships have been dying, murdered by the Quintons? Zay, well, what are you afraid of, the Doctor? Another war between your people, the Quintons, you mean? Sirius, yes, that would be terrible bloodshed. Even though we wasteland here in our community, a man enters Belter, Saris, Saris, ah, Belta, come and meet our guests, my friends. This is Belta. I control the science of my son's good friend. Belta is why I'm here for. Do you know what the fair is planning? Saris, planning? Belta, he's gone, he and some students gone to Lenny Hall. They're going to wreck the flat machine, Saris, no. Belta, you're going to stop them, Saris. I'm just as quick as you could. I, I, I came as quickly as I could, but there, I but there, they'll be up there, but they'll they'll be there by now, Cyrus. Then it's not too late, Doctor. No, but if we cut for the wasteland, do I? It's a short route, Cyrus. The wasteland. But Doctor. Doctor, another war between your people and the Quaintons, you mean? So, it's, yes, it'd be double bloodshed. Another wasteland in the community, a man enters. I'll start that bit again, sorry about that. I thought it from Doctor self protecting slavery. Doctor, I see, is sort of self protecting Preparating slavery. The Quaintons always choose the most, two most promising students. So that's to be their companions, yes. Do you think they've all, they've all been killed? Jimmy, ah, oh, well, we saw one of them killed anyway. So even, well, why are they doing it, Doctor? What's the point, Doctor? Hmm. Well, it's time it stopped anyway. It's high time it has stopped. So that's what should I tell my people? How can I explain, Jamie? Explain what? Just tell the truth, so that's. That they've been tricked that for a thousand years. Like the best of students have been dying, murdered by the Quaintons. So, well, what are you afraid of, Doctor? Another war between your people and the Quaintons. You mean, Cyrus, yes. It will be terrible bloodshed. Another wasteland here in our community. A man enters. Belter? Cyrus, Cyrus. Our Belter, come and meet my guests. My friend, this is Belter. I'm going to the science. My son's good friend, Belter. That's what I'm here for. Do you know what did they plan? Fair is planning, Sarah is planning. But uh, he and some students gone out to learning hall. Are going to wreck the machines. So it's no better. You got to stop them, Cyrus. I came as quickly as I could, but they're being there by now, Cyrus. Then it's too late, Doctor. But we, but if we cut through the wasteland, Jamie, I the shortest route, Cyrus. Wasteland, better, but the poison, Doctor. Oh, I wore off long ago. It's quite safe now, Jamie. Oh, well, look well. Well, look, we've been in, t- in it twice today. And we're all right. Sarah's very well. Learning Hall. Ferris strikes the first blow with his axe. Ferris, come on. Everybody's joining in the destruction. 
Somewhere in the machine comes the collusion that X appears on the monitor. Alarm sounds that X comes up with other screens. There, there. They should fetch them out. Student, come on, let's wreck another. Ferrer, smash them. Computer, stop. It's a warning. Leave the hall. All ghouls, leave the hall now. Student, it's the Crichtons. Computer, leave the hall. All ghouls, leave the hall now. Farah, that's just the voice of the wall. Listen. Computer, this is a warning. Farah, come on. Come out. You quite have a fight. Come out. The student murderers. The boys start hitting another machine as Jamie and Sarah run. Followed by the doctor. Bertha, Jamie and Zoe. Sarah, stop. Farah, leave me alone. Sarah, what are you doing? Farah pulls the Farah off the machine. Doctor, stop it. Stop it. All of you listen to me. This will be not do no good at all. It's quite as, as enormous scientific powers. Scientific powers. You can't defeat them with axes. Doctors are being watched by another monitor. A metal pole with a box on top moves across to another monitor with a pixelized image of the doctor appears. Doctor, now, if, now, if this was an atomic base, it might be more use, Farrah. Atomic laser? Is that, is that better than an axe? Ferris, look at the damage you've done. Complete senseless. Senseless, Ferris. Look what you've done did to my, our friends, father. Ferris, destroying the machines didn't uh, avenge you do or help Vina, will it? Sergeant. Didn't. But we, but we can't get in there. If we attack, if, if we attack the machines, Ferris, a crisis will come out. But I think there's something coming out now. A small round hatch opens to the left of the door. A light on a long, f- a light on a long flexible neck pokes out like a metallic snake. Zoe, what is it? Don't, I don't know, Zoe, but keep well clear of it. Blinking the long, the thing stretches out further into the hall. Jamie, look out. Fur, what's it doing? Jamie, it seems to be looking at us. Jamie, how can it be? It's not alive, is it? A box and a pole. Shows us, turns to show us the picture. The doctor is on the screen. So, hey, doctor, it's after you. Doctor backs away, falling over the debris. The probe gets in, gets very close to his face.